My name is Javan Chal. I'm a professor in the unit of STEM in the University of South Australia. I'm an engineer specialised in remote sensing and navigation. Insects are very interesting from an engineering perspective. They've managed to solve a lot of problems that even the most advanced machines still can't resolve. And they've done it in a tiny little package. I mean, their brain is in the tens of thousands of neurons compared to our billions of neurons, and yet they still manage to solve very difficult problems that we have no technological solution for. So scientifically, it's been proven that honeybees, dragonflies, wasps, crickets, all use the sun in various ways for navigation. At night time, a smaller number of insects have been studied, and one of them is a dung beetle, another is various types of moths. So dung beetles have a behaviour where they roll balls of dung in a straight line, and they need a reference in order to do that. And they use the Milky Way as their reference. Uh, the Milky Way has some advantages over the moon because it's always visible in the environment they live. And it has advantages for them over stars because the Milky Way is a large structure and their eyes are very low resolution, so they can't resolve individual stars reliably. So the objective of the study was to find a technological way to measure the orientation of the Milky Way. It's not that easy because it's very dim and it's sort of transparent. There's other large bright objects in, in the Milky Way, what we call the Milky Way, and uh, there's planets moving around as well and they cover the Milky Way, so it's not an easy target. And so we had to solve the problem of how to measure its orientation. The findings of our study show that this could actually be used on robots and, and aircraft, uh, particularly where they're very small or where there's a lot of vibration. So through a series of experiments in the field and on simulation, we've developed some algorithms now that reliably measure the orientation of the Milky Way, which is the first step towards building a navigation system. Insects are a very interesting place to look for inspiration, for ideas and concepts for how you might solve problems. Although their hardware is not compatible with the sort of hardware that we build computers and cameras out of, they are solving problems in a constrained situation and they've been solving those problems for a very long time. And if you can learn something from that, it can be a shortcut to new solutions that might save billions of dollars.